let me tell you about two mistakes out of many in our startup's journey that almost killed our business. My name is Edgar Spivak and I'm an exited entrepreneur. I have trained thousands of marketers, managed campaign in tens of millions of dollars. My startup is an alumni of one of the best startup programs in the world, Techstars in Atlanta. And today, I'm a mentor at Techstars Tel Aviv. I've been chosen by PPC Hero, the leading blog for hands-on digital marketers, as one of the top 25 influencers in the industry. And I'm the co-author of a best-selling book uh, on digital marketing in Hebrew. I'm an Ono Academy College alumni. Today, I'm leading two marketing divisions in the BA program in advertising and in the MA program in digital strategy. And yet, I know that I don't know enough because there never is enough. And I'm constantly learning from my mistakes, just like the one I will share with you right now. Back in 2018, I co-founded Fixel, a technology we built that allow marketers to understand which of the prospects have a higher probability of making a purchase on their website. Using this information, they could dramatically improve their online media investment. And we succeeded! By the end of 2020, Fixer was acquired by Logic, a public US company. My first mistake? My discovery process was all wrong. Before we started Fixel, we wanted to validate that there is a demand for the problem we wanted to solve. I've reached out to my colleague, who were some of the best online marketers I knew, and I asked them, assume that you have a solution that identifies which one of your website visitors is interested in your products or services and improve your results from your media investment by 20 to 30 percent, would you buy this product? They answered with a big yes. And when we launched, many of them bought our solution. But my question was all wrong. No one especially experienced marketers, would say no to the question, do you want more money? The problem was that the tactic that we were focusing, campaigns that address people who visit their website, known as remarketing campaign, were already considered to have a good return on investment within their overall marketing mix. They didn't need to improve it. So my colleagues said they would buy it, but we didn't consider the importance of the specific tactic that we were using compared to all their overall marketing efforts. We solved the problem that wasn't a significant pain for the majority of the marketers. We had a fantastic feature that works well, delivering results. But it wasn't enough for a standalone solution that could scale as we wanted. The reality is that most of the companies that don't solve real pains don't scale as much as they expected. What can you do in your discovery process? Define your potential clients and understand who is the person making the buying decision. Reach out to people who match that profile and ask them about the pains in your landscape. If they didn't actively mention the pains you're solving, you might want to change your solution. If they didn't actively search for a solution for this pain, you might want to change your solution. Small tip, don't talk about your solution so that you avoid any biases. To build a successful, scalable startup, you need to focus on real pains that companies are willing to pay to solve. My other mistake? If you have an innovative solution that doesn't have any competition, you need to worry about this. 
we have an innovative solution. In the first stages of Fixel, we didn't saw any direct competitors. We thought it was good. It wasn't. When your solution doesn't have any competition and the market doesn't know what you're solving, you need to spend a lot of time and efforts explaining what you're doing. How complicated was that? We met with Anne Tucker, one of the authors of the Martech 5000 map, the world leading marketing and advertising technologies landscape. Even he needed a few days to place us on this map. People think in patterns and our potential clients couldn't fit Fixel in any box they were familiar with. Not being very clear to our customers was a significant challenge in scaling from the early adopters to the majority of the clients. What can you do? Map the market you're in, understand where you fit in, and communicate your solution simply and easily in the words your clients understand. You need to explain exactly what you're doing and your competitive advantage in less than one minute. If you need to remove some of your solution's features to simplify it for your customers, do it. Remember, it is more important to make people understand what you're doing than to have the best product in the world, which might be too complex to explain. Thank you very much.